What's up guys, how you doing? My name is Mel, welcome to Holmes Law. I'm gonna show you a little bit about fire pump terminations and where they go. So basically, this is the CT cabinet up here, okay? And our service entrance conductors come in from the top, all right? So this is the bus bar, all right? Now you wanna connect it after your meter, right? So basically, this is the CT cabinet. This is where the meter is gonna be, the CTs coming from the meter, okay? So you wanna do it after that. That's where you wanna connect your fire pump terminations, after your CT cabinet, all right? So basically, in your switch gear, you're gonna have provisions for your terminations for the fire pump. Sometimes you'll have them for fire alarm as well. See, these smaller wires are for our fire alarm connections, okay, and uh, the bigger lugs are for the fire pumps. Okay, now, depending on your situation, it could be, a, you know, different and whatnot, but no matter what, it's always going to go in your switch here to go after your CT cabinet, all right? So after, after the meter, this way it can get metered. Basically, you want to have your fire pump, if it ever is going to be used, it's going to have to get metered, right? Well, this is where the connections go, okay? So... your terminations will go it'll go after it on the load side all right on the load side <clears throat> basically so you see here it just goes from a phase b phase and c phase these are our fire alarm feeders all right and those are the fire pumps the parallel sets that you see there and that's basically it okay this is your main bonding jumper right here Alright, it's an actual bus bar. It's getting tied into the ground. That's not neither here nor there. It has nothing to do with the video, but just wanted to show you. Alright, so that's where the actual fire pump terminations will go. Okay, I've seen a couple of people that would say that they actually go on the line side, but that's not correct. Okay, it, it has to go after the actual... CT okay so on the low side of the CT this way it can still get metered all right so there you have it now you see so just so you can get a better look at it all right this is my switch gear all right this is where my CT cabinet is all right my my conductors get get terminated on the top side all right that's my line side then comes the CT and then on the bottom there is the load side that's after the CT all right so the CTs are what actually go back to your meter okay let me show you one so you can see exactly what I'm talking about now this service here hasn't been finished yet so I can actually open this up go back these wires here go all the way back to the meter and I'll show you where those go back to those will go back to all the way over there. As you can see, it's not done yet. That's why I'm able to open this up. Okay, once it is done, Con Edison will put their tag on it, they'll lock it out, and I won't be able to open it anymore. Okay, so just so you know also, these get terminated on here. Okay, one goes here, one goes there, another one goes there, last one goes there, and then two will go to each current transformer as well. Okay, so usually uh, we don't do these connections. Con Edison does this. We'll only do it on the actual meter. And that's the only thing we'll touch. And this side, usually your power company will handle it. At least in New York, they do. I'm not sure uh, on your in your state how it goes down, but in New York City, that's how it goes down.